everybody and welcome back to another one of my videos. Today I'm down at the allotment again just trying to do a little, few little things before I go. The first thing I come down and I planted some corn I think it was on Friday we planted, planted a few heads of corn and I've come down and as you can see I don't know but something's dug them out. Don't know if it's squirrels or rats or whatever. Just dug them out and some are missing, so... Hmm. Th this year... I don't know if that one's still in. Yeah, that one's still in. That, see, that something's just dug, just dug them straight out. And, well, that's dead anyway, so... So I don't know what, what, what that is all, what that's all about. So finally got some corn, and it was hoping that they would have been all right. And you come down to that now. So what I'm going to have to do now? I'm going to got some scare tape or something. I'm going to put uh, some in different places, and hopefully that uh, help a little bit. I don't know what else to do. But we've got to do something, so we're going to get on with it. Right, so I'm going to put some scare tape around, then I'll be back with you in a minute. Right, everybody, so I've put the scared, some scare tape up. I'm going to put a couple inside the bed as well, so that I hope will deter them, uh, whatever it is. I don't know if it'll deter them, I don't know what it is, if it's screw or what. So I've got um, a couple of my pumpkins that I add from t what I needed to tie, tie to the post. So I'm just going to do that now. Uh, let, me let me double this string, make it stronger. So this is meant to be a uh, hybrid running um, pumpkin, so I don't know much about this one, so... Um, someone gave me the, gave me the, the seeds. Well, that one's all right. So just tied it up on the post. You see the runners there. So hopefully that I just run up and get a nice covering over there. My trocho on the other side as well. Need to tie that up from when I planted it. Should have been been tied up. So I'm just trying to see where where to t to tie it to. I've got another one to put in, but I'm not sure where I'm going to put that one in yet. Might put it up, up over this side. So, just tying this up. Then I'm going to hopefully. Don't know if it's if it's long enough to go. No, it's not long enough yet to to tie to. Um... I was hoping that it was going to be long enough to tie to here. But oh, let's see if it's no. If it can tie. No, it can't tie to there yet, and it can't go that way yet, so <laughs> going to leave that for a couple of, for a while. That's my, one of my chochos, until when it gets running, then I can tie that up. So that's that. Right, so... 
going to um, go in my poly tunnel now. And I'll be back with you in a minute. Right, everybody. So I'm just giving everything a good water in. These are my okra yams. My um, cylindra beetroots and my sweet potatoes. You can see these are starting to run already since I planted them. I think this is a good spot for them here. They're getting the full, full sun. So these have started to run already, as you can see, the runners on them already. Once they get going, they get going. These are my onions. I see some people's harvest there one already, but I can't remember. I've got everything written down, but I can't remember when I planted my ones. But they're coming along nicely, bulbing up and everything, so hopefully they should be all right. Just giving them another quick water in. So in the meantime, I'm going to let my cameraman show you my polytunnel. As you can see, the sweet potatoes, like I said, are just taking over now. They're covering things and everything, so you just got to work around around it, keep moving them, keep training them. And then you'll get them in a place where you want want to go. You're gonna have um, rows, rows of them on top of each other. But that's how it goes. Right. Going to give everything in there a quick water now as well. These are my lilies. You can see they're coming on nice, like getting ready to flower. Um, I think these are my um, gladiolis or irises, one of the two. Got to weed that out, there's just pure grass growing in there. Right, so into my polytunnel now. In here is quite hot, it's 39 at the moment. Just watering my sweet potato in a bag. And then I'll water in this one in the... These are my brewery guards. And this tub here. Now I hope you can see what I meant when I say, say for sweet potatoes you need a lot of space. Like when your sweet potatoes get to this stage as well, 
you need to give them a lot of water. Right, this is my ginger. What I'm watering here. Got a couple of tomatoes sitting on top there. There's just one sprout coming through there. I put it up. I think there's three pieces in there. So hopefully that that, that should start growing soon. I have to try and move my sweet sweet potatoes over from there. Right, I've got another tub here, trying to find a bottle. So I'm just going to put some water in this bottle, pull this up. Potato. I've got a tub here, but you can't see it now, but there's a big tub, big round tub here. That's all the growth what's on it. Let my cameraman zoom in on that. That's all the growth what's on that sweet potato from, from this, from this um, tub. Right, these are my... Um, this has got a mixture of Okawani in here, my um, Jamaica purple and, and, and my soft skin in this bed. You can't even find a bottle. But just giving everything a good water in. Give them my strawberries. I have to top these back up with some compost next time. Right. Down here somewhere, there's another, there's another big round tub here. <coughs> can see the growth. This is the growth from this round tub here. So in this tub here, I've got a bottle top, so I just found that. So that's a tub in the tub in there. Where is that? This is a round tub of sweet potato. This is the second bed here. Right, and this is the third bed. Just stirring up because there's some, um, what you call it, some surplus um, 
bone meal in these. making sure that you get everywhere water because right let's see I've got some yellow in leaves down here so I'll take these off once you see these yellow leaves like that you just take them off you can use them for put them back in the tub as well they're rotten down my peppers up there you can see they're starting to flower now they've nicely branched out and everything Up this end of the polytunnel, we're on 42. And I've got my carrots up here. See my sweet potatoes coming right along the along the floor this is the one from the bag show you it here this is the one from the bag that's the growth from the bag so I keep w walking on sweet potatoes but that's how it goes I keep watering those, but I don't know why, if they're alive or dead. Give this a little bit more water. Give these up here water. My wonder berry. Not looking so wonderful again. I might put that outside next time I come down. My sweet art melons, what I just planted, you see how those are doing. My sweet potatoes, okawanis, my peanuts. Spring onions. My um, tomato over the back. I don't know why the leaf is curling, if it's too hot or what. These are my marigolds. These are some more tomatoes, pepper, tomato down here, my onions, these are Okawani sweet potatoes over here.
Drop my onions. So if you're liking our videos, please remember to like, share and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell another friend. If you want to leave a comment, you can leave a comment in the comment section. We will get back to you on them. So I'm going to finish this off and then I'll be back with you in a minute. Right everybody, so I'm up my top bed now. And what I'm doing, I'm just giving my pumpkins another watering. I just planted these on Friday. Some are looking okay, some are looking a bit droopy, droopy. But hopefully they should be all right. If they don't grow, then I'll still got some more in the polytunnel to put in. So I've still got this all this area up here to put in. So just watching these ones first. these ones take off then I can put some of the rest out. But like up here the dirt was very dry so just making sure that they get a good water in. all I can do today. Hopefully on Thursday I'll get the rest of of corn and that then I can put those in. So please remember if you like the videos like share and subscribe tell a friend to tell another friend. If you want to leave a comment you can leave a comment in the comment section we will get back to you and them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the next one. You take care.